Hey guys, welcome back to the Grotti F1 2016 World Championship. I'm excited to present you our round 2 race, uh, which was held at Zancudo, a track created by Endersay. And it was already a few weeks ago, but I had a trip to Switzerland, so I didn't have the time to do it earlier. But now I'm excited to present you our race. So we had 40 laps, 159 kilometers, lap record was 1 minute 29.669 and pit winnow is lap 11 to 15 and lap 25 to 29. And here are the qualifying results. Uh, there was the new lap record by Arkenlal that I just told you. 1 minute 29.669, unbelievably quick. And if you watch at place 2 to place 6, uh, the gaps were so small, all in between 1 tenth. With Metaros, Arkans teammate in second, Super Stepper in third, Doom Penguin, Grim Reaper, myself in sixth, uh, Odor and Cloud Make Short. So, lots of good drivers packed in the front. And sadly for Exodim, he had a engine failure, so he's starting in position 17. So, that's gonna be exciting how he will manage to recover from that. Alright, and here we are in the starting grid. Myself starting in 6th as I told you. And then we have another point of view of DNL Jackson in the bottom right. And Dr. Clouden giving us an overview. So focus on the top screen myself. You're preparing for the start. And I'll have some troubles to get the gears in. And as you see right here, I'm gonna have some problems going backwards right when the start is about to happen. Losing already one position to Odorn. But luckily I managed to stay in front of Superstep and Ganyalo right behind me. Oh no, that was Cloud make short. Going into turn 1, focus on Johnny versus Exhidim, bottom right. They are having a battle. Exhidim passed him here, but Johnny is giving a good exit and then BOOM! Sending him into the barrier. A crazy crash for Exhidim. Top screen, myself, oh, going into back of, oh darn. Uh, that cost us a few positions. I just didn't realize that he was breaking so early. And then Vickstro in the bottom right. Trying to get to pass everybody who bunched up due to the crash between Odar and myself. But didn't manage to. Now getting passed by M. Caesar. And also battle for first in the bottom left. Uh, Arkenhal just got passed by Super Stepper. So he lost his pole position in the first lap. Gonna be interesting to see. Uh, how Super Stepper can keep Arkan behind him, or if Arkan actually managed to pass him again. So, top screen, battle for 7, myself behind Odorn and uh, Ganyalo, and bottom left, Arkan Lol going onto the back straight, right behind Super Stepper here, focus on their screen. He's following him, having a bit of overspeed, but not too much. So, can he get the pass done before the start finish? Oh no, what happened? Super Stepper lag back. And so Arkinlaw now gets the first position back. A top screen, battle for seven. Going to the start finish, three wide. Whoa, that was really close. Same on the bottom right screen, battle for 16. Shaddai versus Servi. Side by side into turn one. Who gets the pass? Yeah, Shaddai makes the pass into 16th. Myself following Odorn. Oh, getting scooped up by Ganyalo and my teammate Michiski. Losing a few positions there. Trying to recover behind Doom. Oh, somebody is there. Crash and that's the first safety car called right there. Too many cars involved into that crash. Everybody is bunched up. So we have a safety car in lap 2. Uh, that was unfortunate. I tried to recover from the crash with Ganyalo by going behind Doom Penguin but then Jeffrey he was right behind me coming from <laughs> of my point of view nowhere to being right next to me so that was unfortunately pushing me to the inside hitting the barrier hitting Doom so that was the cause for the first safety car in this race and let me tell you it's not gonna be the last one uh, that's for sure so here you see Arkenal, he's already far ahead, having everybody behind him from place 1 to 9. And now myself, I'm leading the pack from place 10 to 20. 
so we're all closing on them he are right behind him and we're gonna have a restart it's gonna work like that that when we cross the start finish line the safety car is coming in and the race is open again so no overtaking before the start finish line and you see Arkan is following Prutok our safety car driver and here we switch to Odorn and Vikstro for the restart uh, Cloud make short and not hold on Cloud make short in fifth position in the bottom left and bottom right is Vikstro and 14th so we're gonna focus on their restart everybody really bunched together because Arkin decided to have a really slow pace for the restart so really really difficult to get the speed up before the first turn and here I'm following Doom Penguin and my teammate Michiski going onto the inside of Doom, trying to hold it, but I had to back off. Uh, that would have caused an accident. And there, oh, huge crash all over the place, uh, causing another safety car. So, second safety car in the third lap, second safety car in a row. That was quite a huge crash. So, first off, super step up got stuck on the tire barrier causing a huge uh, pile up with Madaros, Odarn, Grim Reaper, uh, myself, Doom Penguin and also in the back Vixtro he went into the rear of Ganyalo with a lag hit and pushed him off to the side causing Johnny to go into Ganyalo's car so that was definitely a well deserved safety car there and the rule about safety cars uh, is three or more cars until this point but that's gonna change over the course of the race because <laughs> this rule uh, showed itself not too good because we had too many safety cars with it and we adjusted it to four or more cars having an accident causing a safety car so we are all bunched up behind the safety car again all in line nobody uh, is having a disadvantage of the crash and it's gonna work the same as last time. Here Prutok drives off and now Arkenlol is leading the pack until the start finish line. He decides what speed he wants to go at. And once we cross the start finish line, overtaking is allowed again. here see myself I'm trying to stay as close to Doom Penguin as I can but here due to the slow speed I couldn't be any closer and then he starts to accelerate and I'm kind of missing uh, the contact to him so he's having a better restart and here everybody comes around the first corner being watched by our cloud sports cameraman Dr. Cloden and there accident between Super Stepper and Madaros so oh no that wasn't Super Stepper, it was actually Grim Reaper and Madaros allowing Cloud McShore to actually go into second position so which is very interesting because he qualified in eighth position and now he's in second by lap four and also myself top screen battle for ninth cut back on Madaros go on to his inside for the next turn great move allowing me to go into ninth position and on the bottom left Odorn battle for third following Story VS and Cloud McShort so they all have the chance to go into third and here Super Step is right behind Odorn really close and top screen look at the top screen Vixtro just uh, passed Raptor but then wow Ganyalo Ganyalo crashes into uh, Vixtro's rear causing the third safety car in the fourth lap so that's when we said okay wait we're gonna have a uh, gonna have a different rule it's not gonna work like this so that was quite interesting to see how that case the safety car was caused uh, most likely a lag hit of Ganyalo against Vixtro so that was unfortunate and it was so late in the lap that we didn't have a chance to actually restart before the start finish gate because not everybody 
had rejoined the pack as you see here everybody's going like really slow so we have to do a full lap of safety car Prutok leading the pack with Metaros then myself currently in ninth position so uh, quite disappointing start for me actually because I started in sixth and now I'm ninth, ninth position wasn't really my plan but the crash with Odarn at the beginning uh, which is definitely my fault cost me too much time and positions to be further up front until this moment and also definitely the crash with Ganyalo which led to the first safety car Yeah, my teammate Michiski, he is in 6th position, so for him everything worked out quite well coming from behind, now in 6th position, most likely keeping out of any troubles is uh, a good idea to do before actually starting the race, you should think about what you want to do, you can just either try to be aggressive and get overtakes early to get a good position in the grid to have some free space in front of you or you just try to be really defensive and try to stay out of trouble if possible and most of the time uh, that will grant you a better position due to other people crashing so here we come around the last turn into the final straight and Arkenlal is leading the pack again right in front of uh, Cloud McShort I'll make sure in second position after all the incidents so that worked out very well for him and same procedure as the last two times Arkenlal as soon as he crosses the start finish gate overtaking is allowed so here we go everybody is speeding up and DNL Jackson in the green car following Jeffrey real close and focus on his screen it's gonna be pretty amazing here so Jeffrey is in front in the brown car and Servi here leg hit sending Jeffrey off the track that was a pretty much TKO uh, out of nowhere so this actually cost another safety car because uh, some people called it out so we had to do it in my opinion this shouldn't have been a safety car because only one car was involved into it but if you can see it like that, that Servi, Jackson and Jeffrey were involved. So basically, it is okay. But for the next races, those situations will not cause safety cars anymore. It just disturbs the flaw of the race too much. So, lap 6. Fourth safety car in a row. But I can tell you, this was the last one. So after this, the race became a lot cleaner and everybody was trying to not crash anymore because four safety cars in six laps is uh, quite a bit too much in my opinion myself I'm in 10th position again because I got passed by uh, Metaros so I'll have to definitely fight back and try to uh, get some points because we know Arkenlal he won the first race on yellow jack and I only got seven so I have to definitely fight back and get a good points finish so I'm aiming for podium at least that would be great if that works out but still six cars in front of me that try to do the same so it's gonna be a tough one so here Arkenlal is restarting the race, followed by Cloud McShort. Uh, Cloud McShort too far away, but myself in the top screen, battling with Metaros again for ninth position. I'll get a boost and side by side onto the first turn. I have the inside and I go past Metaros here into ninth position, so that worked out well. And now I am following Grim Reaper, Mich Michiski, my teammate, and Doom Penguin right in front of me and there whoa kind of incident between Jeffrey and Vixtro oh no that's not that's uh, Caesar sorry and here double overtake 
by DNL Jackson in the green car on Jeffrey and Pespi passing both cars up the hill side by side with the guardrail and Pespi into the turn he is holding the outside doing a really good job going into 18th position and J Jackson he's in the back of the pack because he was made uh, responsible for the crash with Jeffrey which clearly wasn't his fault but in the race we couldn't deal with it differently so Jackson had to go back to the pack and wait for Jeffrey who wasn't last and here myself I'll pass my teammate Michiski who just gets passed by Medeiros side by side down the main straight Medeiros just gets the better exit of turn uh, the last turn and also ex Shedim he's following Michiski and Medeiros so these three cars are all battling for ninth position Shaddai, Michiski and Medeiros and Shaddai trying to get a move on Michiski uh, but he goes into his rear losing one position to Servi going back into 12th Servi is now right by Mitch and Medeiros he was able to get a small gap between Mitch and himself due to the incident between uh, Shaddai and Mitch and now Servi he just passed uh, Mitch but Mitch doesn't give up Servi goes too far and Shaddai sees a chance goes into the, the middle of both can he make the pass on two cars in one straight? Yes, he can. Going into 10th, recovering from the crash with Mitch. X Shaddai in 10th position now. Michiski trying to follow Shidim, the Dinka Motorsports driver now on the top screen. Fighting for 10th position. So Shaddai recovered from his. Uh, qualifying engine failure where he started in 17th he's now in 10th position granting him one point if he finishes in this position myself on the top screen following doom penguin and grim reaper we are battling for position 7 you see going down the main straight it is lap 9 and Doom is right in front of me, Taco Bomb Driver. Who's always tough to battle because he's just very, very quick. And also, most of the time, quite aggressive on his lines. So you always have to think about how to pass him. And it's never, a, never an easy pass. So here, I'll go onto the outside of Doom Penguin because he just had a slight incident with Grim Reaper right in front of him. So we're now actually battling for 6th position, those 3 cars in the top screen, really close together in this downhill section. This is so tense, you don't want to mess up, but you still have to keep your speed. And here Doom, he makes a slight mistake, goes into the bridge, allows me to pass him. So I'll go into 7th position, now I am following Grim Reaper. So my chance for 6 positions have just risen. And here on the bottom screen, bottom left, Johnny is following Caesar in 16th position. So they are battling for 15th. And Johnny, let's see if he has more Taco Boost than Caesar in his Buckingham racing car. Will be interesting to see who has the better aerodynamical effectiveness but as you see both cars stay the same dis the distance on the whole straight so Johnny is not able to pass Caesar here myself I'm still right behind Grim Reaper going the uphill section again and here I'll see my chance that I can pass Grim Reaper on the outside I'm going to the outside maybe I can get the move done before the turn but now I'll have to back off a bit try a little cut back here but Grim manages well to stay on the outside there uh, holding his line I'll touch him slightly but nothing too bad going down here and we are in lap 10 so from lap 11 to lap 15 the pit window is open 
So basically, Rim Reaper, he uh, would have the chance to pit in front of me or I would have the chance to pit right behind him to not be stuck in the battle. But I'll decide to not take a pit stop because I don't want to get stuck in the traffic behind me. So we'll see what Grim Reaper will decide for. And in the bottom right, Shaddai, he is battling for 9th with Metaros. He mm -hmm. caught up to him after having all the troubles with DNL Jackson and uh, Servi and Raptor, the Aguri drivers. So he is now right behind Metaros and having a chance to actually go into 9th position before the first pit stops. And the pit window is open as you see in the top, uh, the green lap count. So if people decide to take a pit stop now, they are free to do so and take their first 20 second mandatory pit stop. Just as Johnny does here, Johnny going for his first pit stop in lap 11, just as all the cars in front of him, Vixtro, Servi and Grim Reaper. So I'm in sixth position now because Grim Reaper took the pit and it will be quite exciting to see uh, what's going to happen because if I manage to get some quick lap times in before I take my pit stop I might be able to pass Grim Reaper before he passes me again when I come out of the pit so that's gonna be an interesting yeah. strategy race there Shaddai still following Madaros closely um, maybe he can get a pass on the straight because Shaddai just had a really good top speed on this track. So the Dinka drivers and the Dinka team have definitely worked on their car from the first race where Shaddai got third place. And they showed they have good top speed but they still improved for this race. And Ch uh, Shaddai just having some troubles in the first laps but now he seems to be getting into the flow. And he should be able to get a few more positions if he keeps going like this. Cloud make short in the bottom left in the silver car for Benefactor Motorsports. He is following Arkenlaw pretty closely here, which was quite interesting to see because he had some troubles during the qualifying to find his pace but I think he made some changes to his car for the race and those changes really paid off he's now following Arkenlaw who had a really fast qualifying lap time which was 0.7 of a second faster than everybody else so Cloud Short definitely improved uh, for this race and he was telling me after the race that he was quite impressed by his pace himself so he wasn't expecting to be that fast, but that's good for the Benefactor Motorsports team and also Cloud Make Short to see that they have a chance in this championship. So we're going into lap 12. The leaders haven't pitted yet. Arkenlaw still in the lead in front of Cloud Make Short. And here Cloud decides to take a pit stop in lap 13. So that's going to be interesting to see uh, where he comes out. Does he have a chance to go past Arkenlaw? And here, whoa, crazy crazy pit stop entrance by x uh, Almost taking out Metaro. So that was a very, very a tricky decision to not completely crash him there. Could have ended quite bad for both of them. And Cloud, he's now out of the pits and unlucky for him, he doesn't have free space in front of him. He comes out right behind DNL Jackson. So now Cloud makes short has to deal with DNL Jackson and still keep his pace up to have a chance to pass Arkenlaw when he comes into the pits. So that's going to be quite interesting. So focus on the top and the bottom left screen where the battle between Cloud makes short and DNL Jackson is happening. So Cloud on the downhill section you can see he's just a bit tighter on the apexes closing slightly but surely on Dion Jackson and here this turn 
Very important to see he carries so much more speed through this turn. Going onto the inside for the prior to last turn. Into the last turn, he's past DNL Jackson, so that worked out very well for Cloud Make Short. No troubles at all to pass DNL Jackson, and he's going into seventh position, which effectively is uh, second position because everybody else hasn't pitted yet. And here we see Odorn in the pits right now. He's in second, right behind uh, Cloud Mac Short, so it will be interesting where Odorn will come out of the pits. And also Super Stepper in the pits, Medeiros in the pits, Michiski in the pits. So most of the leaders or the top drivers decided to pit now. And here Cloud Mac Short coming past the pits. And whoa, he gets taken out by DNL Jackson. What an incident, allowing Odorn to battle for second now. He's right behind Cloud Mac Short. And this is the reason why you, if you are in front, you usually don't want to pit early because such things can always happen when you get into traffic. And this now allows Odorn to actually be really close to Cloud Mac Short and might be even passing him here. So they're coming up the top section, the highest point of the track, and also Story VS and Super Step are right behind him. So second to fifth, really close together. And here battle for 8th, Madaros and Exidim still close together, so nothing has changed between <coughs> these two due to the pits. Quite interesting to see different pit strategy, but still they come out of the pit just as they have entered it. So same speed for them both, same pace. And Odorn, he is following Cloud Make Short now, and the leader going into the pits on the top screen. So Arkan Law stops there, myself top screen going into the pits too, so we both decided to take a late pit stop. And myself, it's gonna be interesting where I get out. Will I get out behind Story, VS, Super Stepper, Odorn and Cloud Make Short or can I even pass those guys? Because they had quite a few incidents, so Arkan Law leaves the pits, clearly in the lead now. And there are Cloud Make Short and Odorn come along the pits, I can leave. Just now, uh, come out right behind Story VS and Super Stepper. So we're now battling for fifth position. But fifth is good if you remember my start where I was in tenth. So I'll have a good shot at the podium currently. Because you see, we are really close together about, let's say, four to five seconds between second and sixth. And here I go past Story VS right at the first uphill section. But I'll break a bit too late. Story VS is taking the inside and passing me again. So he did a good job on defending his position there. Really tough bumper to bumper action, downhill section, trying to take different lines than him. Trying to get the apexes right to have more speed. And here you see hitting the bridge slightly, but I'm closing on him. But nowhere to go, he's defending really well. Into the last turn, breaking hard, trying to get the inside, get a good run down the main straight but he's still in front of me so really tough defending also battle for eighth in the bottom left Exidim right behind Metaros myself on the top now past story vs we're going side by side through the start finish gate who's gonna make it to the first turn oh can I hold it or will story pass me no I get the pass done so I'm in fifth position now that was a tough battle, Super Stepper and Odorn and Cloud Make Short, they pulled away from us a bit, but should be able to close that gap after this battle. On the bottom left, Exidim and Metaros, uh, for the last couple of laps they were having quite a tough fight and Metaros is doing a great job defending from him. Just. 0.6 seconds in front of Shidim, so the pressure is definitely on. It's so tough if you see somebody being behind you and you know, alright, he's just a bit faster than me, gaining this turn, gaining that turn. You really have to fight to not lose the concentration and to stay in your game and don't make a mistake by pushing too hard. So really good job by Madaros there. Here Johnny gets passed by Ganyalo. Don't know what he was doing there, trying to get a weapon out maybe to shoot Ganyalo. Didn't want to get passed. No, definitely not. It's not allowed in this event to shoot uh, serious GTA racing. 
Yeah, but Johnny versus Ganyalo, 13th position, so fighting for 12th. Really good battle there if you want to focus on that. You're gonna see some great racing. And also, battle for 8th in the bottom. Shedim and Madaros still behind each other. And here it seems like Shedim is having a good chance to close on Madaros now. So we should focus on them because he's only 0.237 of a second behind Metaros. So basically, they're really close together. Here Metaros making a slight mistake, hitting the outside barrier, losing him some speed. But it also seems like he's lagging a bit. Going into the chicane, Shadam gets a perfect chicane. And getting past Metaros here on the inside for the apple section. Shedai going into 8th position finally after quite a few laps behind Metaros, so good job on that. Also Johnny top screen inside of Metaros, slightly diving in but taking the 12th position from Ganyalo, so nice overtake there. Oh and here, first signs of brake failure for DNL Jackson, he's having some troubles with his brake. Uh, breaks and also what are Johnny and Servi doing there incidents over incidents in that lap lucky for DNL Jackson he didn't lose two positions to his incident because other people in front of him crashed too so that was interesting to see so settling a bit for this lap 18 myself I'm in fifth position behind Odorn Cloud make short Ark and Lol, so Ark and Lol in first, Cloud Make Short in second, Odon in third, and Super Stepper in fourth. And I'm trying to see these two guys in front of me battling, so I'm already preparing to join them for the battle. And here we all come past Cloud, uh, Dr. Clone for Cloud Sports. Really nice shot here through the chicane. You can see the cars gripping around the turn. Turismo, just really nice car to drive. And here I'm closing on 4th as you see, getting closer and closer by every turn. About 2 seconds behind Odorn and Super Stepper. And then this happens, focus on battle of 3rd. There, oh god damn it, Odorn gets past, pushed by Super Stepper. And I'll just barely manage to avoid the crash, allowing me to go into 3rd position. So, 3rd position for me due to this incident. Lucky for me, I didn't have to battle these two guys because that would have been a tough battle. Now Odorn is right behind me, followed by Super Stepper who caused the accident. Uh, lucky for Odorn that the barrier prevented him from going off the track and just completely ruining his race. And now I'm under pressure from Odorn, which is always quite weird. When you follow somebody and you know you're closing on them, you just get the feeling, uh, you just get the flow and you get like a tunnel vision, you see everything really good and you hit the apexes. But once they make a mistake, the pressure is kind of off and you start to not hit the apexes perfect, to not get your lines perfect. And that's when you start thinking about what you're doing and then it's most likely when you start making mistakes. So this definitely uh, is not easy even if you get like those two positions for free without battling for them. Now Odorn is right behind me pressuring me and I'll have to defend my position. So always interesting to see how drivers can adapt to these situations. Can they deal with the pressure? Can they adapt to the situation? So it's gonna be gonna be good to see if I manage to hold Odorn behind me. But here you can see I managed to create a slight gap between him and myself, probably about a second. He gets really lucky there hitting that barrier because he's followed by Super Stepper really closely. So basically. From position 3 to position 5, we are all in between 4 seconds. Here Arkenlaw comes past Dr. Cloden 
and then the second position already takes quite a bit Cloud makes short right here and then myself coming past him in third position followed by Odorn and Super Stepper. And then we have Story VS and Doom Penguin so the first seven really close together and there's already Extra Dim in eighth position so he managed to recover from his qualifying uh, disaster you might say it there Michiski my teammate also in the points so Scuderia Gratti currently scoring with both cars which is very nice to see here Shedai having quite a power slide there uh, managed to hold that car so shows great skill of driving and this period of the race everything settled a bit uh, no more crazy incidents and we are all preparing for the second pit stop window which is about to open shortly so everybody was just looking at the times and trying to find some gaps and some good strategy for the next pit stop window Arkin Law is in first 7 seconds in front of Cloud McShort who is 4 seconds in front of me then 1 second behind me Odorn and everybody still in the same order behind me and it's also interesting to see these different point of views the different lines people take the different braking points the different styles of racing it's always very very interesting when I do these videos to watch everybody's lines how they prepare for a turn do they break tap the brakes do they brake slightly do they just completely brake once and then turn in or do they turn in while they brake uh, it's just interesting to see and you can learn a lot from that if you have access to different point of views just for yourself to find different lines and maybe also some boosts and everything so I really enjoy doing these videos and here battle for third fourth and fifth super stepper now right behind Odorn who made a slight mistake hitting the bridge and there another mistake so Odorn definitely under heavy pressure right now but he managed to hold fourth position from super stepper myself I can finally see cloud make short when I come along the main straight and Odorn and Super Stepper, they lost yeah, quite a few seconds due to that incident there. So I have some breathing air to actually focus on closing on Cloud McShort. Do you see Cloud McShort coming past Dr. Cloden, coming past this hairpin here? Myself, not too far away from him. Also, Super Stepper and Odorn battling each other. Then we have Story VS and Doom Penguin also battling. They're quite a slide from Doom and then Shaddai right behind Doom so he's gonna join that battle uh, over the few over the next laps. Ian Medeiros having some troubles with his engine, some misfires, losing him some top speed. So he's having some troubles to keep up with the guys in front. Yeah, lap 22, so pit stops will open by lap 24 to 29. And here we're gonna take a... You around the lap with Johnny for a bit, who is in a battle with Grim Reaper, the teammate of Odorn, who had a really good qualifying. I think he qualified in 4th actually, 4th or 5th. and. He's having a disastrous race. He's now in 13th position, having some incidents and also some troubles with his car. Uh, I think he is having the same issue as DNL Jackson some lag spikes and also some weird turnings and everything. So that was unfortunate for him to not be able to show his full performance because he was really fast. In the, on this track and practicing quite a lot. Yeah, the leaders coming past the uh, hairpin in front of the pits again there, and Shaddai is now right behind Doom Penguin. So in that one lap, he made up that second that he was missing. So he's now in the battle for sixth. 
And here Johnny and Grim Reaper. You see Grim Reaper is taking a different line. He's going to the outside. Trying to find some other boosts that could give him an advantage. But you see Johnny stays in front of him. So battle for 12 is still not decided. And on the top, as I told you, Shedai is now right behind Doom Penguin and Story VS. Gonna be interesting to see if Shedai is going to pass Doom easily or if they have a, a tough battle. Because those two drivers, known to be very fast, it's gonna be nice to see if one of them gets an advantage. And here you see Shedai having some great speed on the straight. Trying to Which pass Jesse Doom here, but it's bumper to bumper, side mm -hmm. by side. Here, coming across the start finish gate, Shadai just goes to the inside, going into seventh position before the first turn. So, that was a really good job by Shadai, using his top speed and just using a few lines that grant him maybe that one or two boosts more. So, Shadai in seventh position now, behind Story VS. Yeah, bottom left changed to Cloud Mac short, so our driver in spot number two, he's already having about 10 second gap to Arkin Lol, but he's only three seconds in front of me, so he might be feeling the pressure now because I'm coming closer and closer, and he has to try to pick up his pace again to not lose his second position. And we are also coming to lap 25, which will give us the chance to take pit stops again. And it will be interesting to see what Cloud makes sure decides to do for the pit stops. So here myself in the top closing on second. And lap 25 is reached by now, so pit window is open again. Everybody can take their second mandatory pit stop and focus on Cloud short. He makes a mistake, goes off the track and myself on the top passing him right here. So that worked out very well for me. Cloud short decides to go into the pits due to the incident, which I think was a good decision. But look, he's now right behind Vickstra and Jeffrey, so he's definitely stuck in lap traffic. And also, he now has to fight between with Old Orn and myself for his second position. So I passed him when he crashed, so I should have a good chance to get yeah, into second position yes, when I later. have done my yeah. second pit stop. But it will be interesting to see if actually Old Orn for Richard Majestics on the top screen right now in third is able to yeah. put in uh, lap times to get past Cloud when he is doing his second pit stop. So Cloud now in ninth position actually had Pretty did weird. his second pit stop fighting with Odorn in the top screen uh, who only did one pit stop Johnny also Bra decides to go uh, into the pits by lap 25 seconds. with That's Grim Reaper right behind him so they both decided to take a pit stop and I think this is a, a, always a wrong decision if you're uh, following somebody channel? so closely uh, you want to be Jackson. aware of what uh, they're gonna do six. for the pits if they go into the pits and you know you're yes, faster, right. you want to stay out. If they don't go for the pits, you want to go into the pits and try to pass them the uh, while they the stay out. So you get some way. clean air. You always want to have clean air. You don't want to battle. Yeah, here Grim Reaper, he came out of the pits again and now has to let uh, Odarn pass. Because, uh, not Odarn, Arkenlaw pass yeah. because Arkenlaw is coming up to those guys. Here, Raptor. And Johnny is actually the person who profits from this quite a lot. You know, they came into the pits right behind each other and now Grim Reaper, he lost about 4 to 5 seconds to Johnny. So that's what I'm talking about. You never want to stay behind somebody or be right behind somebody when going into the pits. You always want to have the chance to get some clean air in front of you. 
Yeah, Vikstro in the bottom left. He is now going for his pit stop on lap 26. He's in 11th position. So just one position away from a point scoring finish. And now it's going to be interesting what the leaders decide to do. Arkenlaw on lap 27. He still has two laps to take his pits up, so there's no need for him to actually go into the pits. But Odarn, he is in the indirect battle between yes. with Cloud McShort, as I told you before, for second position. So if Odarn managed to gain enough time in those yeah, two laps he did, he might actually be able to get out to the pits uh, in front of Odarn, uh, in front of Cloud McShort. Uh, so Cloud makes short is in the no, bottom left and Odorn in the top. So focus on those two to see who actually managed to take third position. Odorn stopping right now. He has to leave at 51 minutes and 9 seconds. And here Cloud makes short is coming around the first turn. Odorn going into the first position on the pits. And here Cloud makes short comes and Odorn is leaving. Really close battle between those two, but Odorn did not manage to pass Cloud makes short. So Cloud makes short staying in third position currently. He's in fifth position, but two people in front of him still have to pit. So he's in third position on the virtual field. And also Johnny and Grim Reaper, they are now battling with each other again after Grim Reaper losing quite some time to Arkenlol lapping them. And Arkenlol is also right in front of Johnny and Grim Reaper. So there might have actually have been an incident between Arkenlol and Johnny. Which we missed. So here Johnny staying on the inside, not letting Grim Reaper pass him. And also Cloud makes short on the left side. He pulled away from Odorn quite a bit as you can see. So that was quite a good move by Cloud makes short no. to find this pace back after his incident. It's always tough when you have an incident to get back into your rhythm and to not lose too much time due to yourself actually thinking about the incident and not just focusing on the race. Mother Rose. 57 seconds. I really hate trying to pass you, Johnny. Here, Cloud Make Short is coming up to lap Raptor X. Will he let him pass before the uphill part? Yes, he will. Good job by Raptor. But Cloud Make Short not being able to use his usual rubbish. breaking point hitting the barrier losing some time so that's always always very tough to oh, decide when you lap somebody you need to go off your line you usually use and that's most of the time when the car reacts differently and when you make mistakes so lapping always very important you need to be consistent okay, on this and Thank you. You most likely you need to be very aware of what you're doing Arkenal, the leader, coming in for a second pit stop. And also myself, right here, coming in for my second pit stop on the last lap that was available for pit stops. Lap 29. Here, stopping right behind Arkenal, about 10 seconds behind him. And here, Cloud makes short in now in fourth, but actually in third position when everybody has pitted. Is coming up the first turn, and we will see if he might be actually able to get in front of me again. But no, here I'm leaving, and now Cloud makes short is coming, so I'm in second and Cloud is in third. But this is interesting. X Shadim leaving the pits in seventh position, but look at the group in front of him. Super Stepper in sixth, then we have Story VS in fifth. Odorn in fourth and Cloud Make Short in third. So these five people, also not Doom right behind um, Shaddai, are all battling for third position. So from third to eighth, everybody is having 
a chance at a podium finish. So that's gonna be very, very interesting for the last couple of laps. There, Johnny passing Grimrippe again, who is now having huge troubles with his car. And Vikstro is now also right in front of them. Those two, even while battling, were able to close the gap on Vikstro. And right behind uh, Grim Reaper now is Raptor X. So also four people battling for 11th position. So that's gonna be quite a tough battle for those four uh, till the start finish to see who is actually able to get that 11th place. And here, retirement of DNL Jackson. He is deciding to retire his car. His brakes completely messed up, and he has to stop the race to not interfere with all the other cars too much. So unfortunate for Sprunk, one car is out, but they still have a good chance at points with Story VS currently being in fifth position. Try to switch. the race is now your card. And we see here uh, on Shadai screen the white and red car, Super Stepper and Story VS, they are having quite a tough battle here in this downhill section. Super Stepper bumper to bumper with Story VS. So that's gonna be in good to see if Story VS manages to Hold the pressure and defend against Super Stepper. Also, Johnny following Vixtro, still the battle for 11th place. Nice to see so many battles all over the track in the mid pack, in the front pack, and in the back. So, everybody was having a good race. And here we have the times Cloud Make Short 4 seconds, Old R 3 seconds, Story VS. One second, Super Stepper also one second Thank you. Uh, in front of Extra Dim, so everything really close for the last nine laps. Who can make it till the finish to get that podium spot? That's gonna be the question for the end of the race. Also, Johnny now really at the bumper of Vixtro and Raptor. Dead engine. Oh, Raptor had a mistake there, getting crashed with the car behind him. So Raptor is out of the battle for 11th. Now it's only down to Vixtro and Johnny. Grim Reaper also out. That was the cause for the crash. Sorry, and here you see X Shidim in the bottom right. He had closed the gap Sorry. to Super Stepper because they, two, they both are just battling so hard. He can take better lines. And now they're all in between one second with Odorn right in front of them and there Jeffrey he is also in between this pack so that lapped car will be interesting to see if he actually is aware of the situation that three cars right behind him all battle for fifth position and that he should better not interfere with these here you see Shaddai having some great overspeed on Super Stepper just as he had on Doom Penguin, but here the Benefactor Motorsports car just gets another slight boost for the last part of the straight and not allowing Shaddai to pass him. And here Jeffrey showing great awareness, letting those people pass. Really good job there. And there, what happened? Our cameraman, Dr. Cloden, just got killed by our pit watcher Seafire, so that was definitely a controversial situation. Uh, but luckily, nobody was uh, got a disadvantage due to that, due to the car actually spawning on the track. So that was uh, interesting to see. I just wanted to <laughs> show you this controversial incident during the race. Here, Johnny and Vixtro coming past the start finish line. Johnny having some overspeed, but Vixtro on the inside line, and we saw that already a few times. That when you have those that inside line there, you just have more speed for the last part of the straight. So Johnny still behind Vixtro.
here. Bottom left, Arkenlal coming around the first turn, the leader of the race. About 10 seconds in front of the second position, myself, Ovivo Jr. for Scuderia Grotti. Then in third, Cloud Max Short for Benefactor Motorsports. Fourth, Odorn, Richard Mazert Sestix. Story VS for Sprung, Super Stepper and Shedai for Benefactor and Dinka. So, first seven, so close together. Everything can happen with just a slight mistake. Going up, Caesar. Thank you. And Shedai, Story VS, and Super Stepper. The fight for fourth position with Odorn. They are just so close together and this is this is why we all race. It's so much fun when you have such battles where people are on an equal level just fighting with slight slightly slight differences that most of the time decide the race. So it's just so much fun and it's just so thrilling to watch. Uh, I really enjoyed this this part of the race. And here Shadai is now having a chance to pass Super Stepper on the last straight. Can he get the Dinka Corp be past Super Stepper? He's having the inside line. We know it's faster and he's going past into 6th position. So great move by Shadai. Good job. Now following Story VS. Also on the top screen, Battle for 11, Raptor just got passed by Johnny. Or was it Servi? Definitely an Aguri car with their... Oh yeah, there. Whoa. Yeah, that was Servi. That move wasn't too clean, in my opinion. But those cars from Aguri, I can see seen by, by a few miles away with that neon color. But I think Servi is having some troubles with lag. So that might have explained the tough overtake. And here's Servi. Coming down the main straight, who has the better speed? Is it Servi? Is it Johnny? Definitely Servi having some real intense overspeed here on Johnny. So that was interesting to see that the Aguri car actually could pass the Taco Boost car so easily. Shadai still following Story VS and they just passed Caesar for the Buckingham Racing with Super Stepper still behind these two guys so that battle is still not over and they're also closing on Odorn who is in fourth position and here Cloud McShort coming around Odorn coming around and then these three cars one two three and Caesar who got lapped and there's Doom Penguin so due to the battling between those three here on the bottom right Doom is actually able to close on them. And here's Super Stepper. An aggressive overtake on Shaddai. Shaddai has to back off. Super Stepper has the better line. Maybe Shaddai gets a better exit onto the uphill section. But doesn't seem like so. Really good move by Super Stepper. Out of nowhere. Basically not a lot Shaddai could have done there. Was just a good move by Super Stepper. Taking the inside line. Breaking late. And grabbing those that 6th position. Sorry, Doom. It's okay. in the bottom left, our leader, is now coming down the main straight to go on to lap 36. So, five more laps to do until the finish of the race. And he is having a comfortable lead in front of me with 10 seconds. So, he is having the race under control flawless start finish win basically with that one slight overtake by super stepper in lap one but other than that Arkenlaw flawless race until here so we'll focus on him to see if he manages to get that second win in a row
You hear Johnny on the top screen getting passed by Grim Reaper into the first turn of the downhill section. Still battling for 11th. No, that's actually a mistake. Sorry for that. They are battling for 13th position. So it's not the battle for 11th anymore. And Shedai in the bottom right behind Super Steppa still who just passed Shaddai on the last lap and due to the heavy fighting between these two Story managed to pull away from them and Story is now able to close the gap to O'Dorn and this is gonna be the battle for the last few laps Story vs versus O'Dorn who can get that fourth position is it the sprung driver in the light green car or is it the Richard Majestic's driver in the dark green car And here you see on the top screen Story VS not too far behind Odorn anymore. And Super Stepper and Shaddai showing us some great racing. Really top notch GTA racing here. There's Super Stepper slightly misbreaking for that turn, but that can always happen. So late in the race, the brakes tend to get loose. You try to, you have to brake a bit earlier, pump the brakes to get everything out of them after such a tough race, especially on the downhill sections where you have some heavy braking from top speed. So those carbon brakes are definitely under some heavy pressure on this race. Parts on the outside by the rose. So Arkenlaw coming around the main straight again for okay, lap 37, so only three more laps to go, 38, 39 and 40 for him. So everything looks really good for Progen Motorsports for their second consecutive win in a row. Oh, and Vikstro in the bottom left, he's now having to defend his 11th position from Servi, uh, our Aguri insurance driver. It's gonna be very tough for him to fight against Servi, who showed some great pace over the uh, past couple of laps. Also, Shaddai and Super Stepper. They are so close together for the last couple of laps. It's just incredible how they managed to still keep up such a speed while battling so hard. But you see, they lost three seconds to Story. Oh, and accident between Johnny and Grim on the top screen. Uh, Johnny crashed into Grim, so that was really unfortunate. Grim having some huge troubles with his car at this this uh, moment of the race. And also, as I said, Story, he managed to close on Odorn. He is now less than a second behind Odorn for the last, last two laps. So that's going to be very interesting. And Servi, he just gets past Vikstro. So Vikstro into 12th position, losing one position to Servi Noodles. Serve me Noodles. <laughs> Whoever came up with that name. So, Servi into 11th and Battle for 6 between Super Stepper and Shaddai. Shaddai having some great speed here. Going onto the inside for the main straight. Can he keep up the momentum? Yes, he's going into 6th position. So good job by Shaddai. Focus on the bottom right. They are going into the first turn here. Super Stepper right behind him. Breaking for the turn. Oh, and then, whoa, Super Stepper. I don't know if that was a lag hit, but that cost them both quite a lot of time so they're most likely not able to get fourth so focus on the top screen now between Odorn and Story uh, they are battling for fourth now having quite a huge gap to <laughs> Shaddai, Super Stepper and Doom and Super Stepper actually just got passed by Doom Penguin so Doom Penguin in seventh position now Super Stepper down to eighth position 
from qualifying second. So that's quite a big hit for him, the Benefactor Motorsports driver. Now can tell you, stick around with me. The last lap is gonna be pretty much amazing. Such a chain of events happening that make this lap just one of the best laps in GTA racing I have seen so far. So it's gonna be very interesting. So stick around with me. Defending from Story VS now in the top screen. Oh darn for Richard Majestics. Right behind him, Story VS, so Odorn is definitely feeling the pressure. And we are on the final lap, final lap of the race. You don't want to make any mistakes anymore. So you want to just get it done and keep your position still till the finish. Odorn coming onto the pit section with the hairpin here. Breaking on the inside to not get Story in. Story is able to close some time on him here. And now, watch this. Whoa, incident between Old Arn and Story VS costing them quite a lot of time. And now bottom right, Shaddai is right behind Story VS and Old Arn. And Super Step and Doom Penguin also. So we have a five way battle for fourth position. The Go first skip. three positions are a done deal. Arkenlaw in first, getting the win. Myself in second, Ovivo Jr. getting second position. Third, Cloud McShort. But who will get 4th position? That's the question for the last couple of laps. No, for the last lap actually. It's the final lap. So, oh darn. In front of Story. In front of Shaddai. Who of those three will make it into 4th position? Story right behind Odorn. Trying to recover from the mistake. Odorn just defending his position. Trying to get everything uh, sealed for the last straight. And here you see Shaddai getting a good run. Passing Story VS for four, fifth. Can he? Can he get Odorn? Can he get Odorn for the start finish line? Closer. He's coming closer. I don't think so. Maybe. No, he can. Odorn in fourth. Shaddai in fifth. Uh, Story VS in sixth. Actually, Doom Penguin in seventh, and Super Step in eighth. Wow. What a finish of that race. It was a great race in my opinion. Arkenal the winner. Oviva Jr. second. Cloud McShaw third. And look at the times. Fourth to eighth. Just divided by one second. Fastest lap time of the race was by Shaddai, our Dinka driver. And we had the brake failure by DNL Jackson. Runner up, definitely Cloud McShort. And the best team for this race was Progen Motorsports. Here's the driver championship. Arkenal now with two wins. And a pretty much huge lead of 20 points from Odorn in second with 30 points. XJDM in third with 25 points. Myself making up some positions going into fourth. And in the teams, Progen Motorsports leading by a huge 30 points in front of Richard Majestics. I hope you enjoyed this race, guys. And I'll see you for the next one, March 4th. 7 p.m. UTC live on Odorn Twitch.